Hey guys, quick update. I got the um, third card on the mining rig, so I'll show you that real quick. Alright, so I got rid of the riser and just put the card right on the board. As you can see, I got the 570 Sapphire right here and then the two RX you know, 560s right here. If you notice, I have that little piece of tape right here. If I pull that out, see how the cards are like right up on top of each other? It's maybe an eighth of an inch, if that. So if I leave it like that, the fan speed goes to about 100% and the temperature of the car goes to about 69. But if I put this little piece of tape here, it keeps them separated and keeps them cool. Doesn't look pretty, but it works. Alright, so we'll jump into the computer now and we'll go over some stats and see what it's been doing. Um, Real quick, this is what it's been mining for about 12 hours, 42 minutes now. Um, about 48.25 mega hash between the three cards. All right, guys, I'll see you inside the computer. All right, guys. Uh, so as you saw, I've got all three cards on the mining rig working now. Um, they've been up and working now. Let me check for about... 18 hours so seems to be pretty stable um, what I did just now is I finally overclocked um, all three cards here in SMOS so you can see right here the first card GPU 1 is at 29.5 mega hash which is the 570 and both 560s are sitting at about 13 and a half mega hash um, before I overclocked, the uh, 570 was sitting at about 24, 24 and a half mega hash, and the two 560s were at like 11.8 mega hash. So all in all, I think it was a total of about 8.1 mega hash that I um, that I gained from my overclocks. The cards are also BIOS modded. So if you look here. These are my overclock settings, um, 1425 and 2100 for the 570, and both 560s are at 1375 and 2000. Um, so far, so good. They seem to be doing all right. Here's the temperatures of each card. Looks like they're pretty good, nice and cool so far. Um, so I'm going to let that run for a while and see if the... Uh, rig likes it and it stays up and there's no crashes or anything um, over at mining pool hub again I'm still uh, mining mainly ethereum but it does switch with that algo port um, setup that I did yesterday it has switched to ethereum classic but only briefly um, not even worth even mentioning maybe 15 cents worth of mining on ethereum classic total um, I've got 101 verge so far. I've already I've already cashed out about 468 verge, I think it was. So 101, 468, what is that? 569 verge coins I have right now. Mine totally. I converted Ethereum to verge is what I'm doing. So let's click on Ethereum over here. Go over to dashboard. That's a little high. I don't know why it says 86 mega hash. I wish, but it's only at about 56. So right now, my um, 36 or 24 hour effective hash rate, at least uh, that I've mined with the uh, Ethereum algorithm, I'm making 0 0.00361249 Ethereum per 24 hours. So I can copy that. Head over to my converter, hit convert, $3.16 um, total on the rig. So I know that my 570 does pretty much half of the um, hashing power of my rig. So if I take 3.16, divide that by 2. Telling you, 
I'm terrible with this calculator. 3.16 divide by 2. It's going to give me a dollar fifty-eight as of right now um, on the 570. So let's go over to my calculator. 1.58. And let's move over to here. So then we would divide that by 2 because that would be the remaining 560s. That would be 79 cents. So it's 0 0.79, enter, 0.79, enter. So this is saying $2.40 a day after electric costs or $72 a month. That's all right, I guess. Can't complain about that. So let me save that real quick. We'll go back over. Um, so it's gross 316, but like I said, I just did these BIOS mods. So that number should go up as well. Um, this is when I put the car on yesterday at 570. So you already see that it bumped. Well, actually, it started a little bit on the 24th that night. All day yesterday and now into today. You can see the my uh, payouts have gone up pretty good amount since I got that 570 in there running. So that's pretty good. Um, I will put in the uh, description the the mods I or the overclocks I did. If you all want to try those on your own if you have these type cards, I'll put those down in the uh, description so you can try them out for yourself. Here's Verge right now. So that's 0 0.061 verge. So I got 569, 569 times 0 0.06146. Almost $35 worth of verge coins right now. In, a, in about a month, I think, since, since I've been mining. Um, once I get that other rig up, like I said, it should be this weekend. Um, it's an HD7970 card. I'm going to BIOS mod that and overclock it and see how that goes. I'm going to run that on nice hash since I've already got Simple Miner going here with this card, with these cards. And I'm just going to leave this like this. I'm not going to take these cards off of that uh, motherboard until I get in, until I have to. It seems to be running fine with the cards directly on the motherboard. So I'm not going to fool with the risers. I think going forward in the future, I'm going to actually get that um, Octo Miner. I don't know if you guys have heard about that or not. Let me see if I can Google it real quick. You can put eight cards. It's made for mining. You can put eight cards right on the board. Let me see. Octo. So there it is. Click on it. Um, I don't know if it'll boot up here real quick. There it is. So that's a, an 8 GPU board made specifically for mining. 199 bucks. Um, Drew Vosk over at the Voscoin channel did a little review on it. I, I think it was just the other day. And when his buddies set up an eight card GPU, they seem to like it. So going forward, if I ever build a third rig, I'm probably gonna get this and not, not worry about the risers. I don't know if that's exactly what the problem was with my other rig or with the uh, cards not working right before, but if I don't have to fool with it, I'm not going to. So, let me go over and check how much Ethereum Classic I actually did mine. Let me go over to the home page. Ethereum Classic. Dashboard. Not mining that right now. Yeah, you can see 0 0.0042 is the total I mine. Let me see what that equates to. If I can real quick. So 
So let's go control V ETC to USD. Let's click on here. It's a long time to load. Let's click convert. 15 cents. Yeah, so I was, I was pretty close. But mainly it's staying on Ethereum, which is, which is good. It's been the best for me so far, so. All right, guys. Um, that's just a quick update for today's video. Um, I'll post another video tomorrow. And let you know the results of the overclocking, whether the rig was stable or not going forward. And I'm sure those profits will be up a little bit. I'm hoping at least. If you guys are new to the channel, uh, thanks for stopping by and watching. Be sure to subscribe. If you like the video, hit the like button. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, put them down uh, below and I will be sure to get back to you guys. Okay? Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you all tomorrow. Take care, guys.